Okay, so you got it in the holder. Now you test that it opens all the way, yeah. And then test that it closes without any resistance. Does that feel good to you? Yeah, it okay. doesn't feel ridiculously tight, but it feels snug. Yeah, it should, cl it should clamp. Uh -huh. And then it's not, you know, yeah. it's not moving. And there's pins yeah, in there that no interlock with each other. Apart, so it's like pretty solid. Mold needs to be vertical when the charge is fired. So let's come over here, bring, bring the mold over. So we want to get this guy attached with as much above the finished height as possible. So one part passes through. Yeah, so that'll be our run and then the tap will go on. So at this point, don't even bother putting the mold on. Just looking at it, bend the wire to as close as you can. You got to see how it's... On the dirt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See how it's curved? You're going to need to straighten out whatever section you're going to use. And then whatever section you're going to, is going to be your runner is going to need to be traveling straight up. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, just like that. Yep, perfect. In fact, we could even do the weld up there. Yep, perfect. So that little bit of electrical tape on there, that's just to keep it from spray, uh, fraying. Yeah. Here, let's, let's stop for a sec and let's put this board down. So then... Once you got them kind of straight and not frayed at all, because if it frays open, then it's not um, going to fit in the mold. So you got them both straight and you think that's going to work. Run is passing through the front hole. Your tap is coming in the back one. Go ahead and measure how far it needs to be in there approximately. Yeah, on, on either side. Two inches? Okay. So we need this tape about two inches from the end. I would put on a new one first and then take off the old one just to reduce any chance of that thing fraying. And maybe put it put it about three inches. You're gonna need real gloves. Those. And you're gonna need map gas. And especially here, but even anywhere I'm doing stranded, I always map gas it first. So okay. to dry it out. To dry it out, exactly. And you still gotta take off that second band of tape on okay. the end there because you're gonna dry that out. And at the beginning of the day, the mold, the first time you use a mold, you need to dry it out with map gas too. Okay. Or propane or whatever. You, you just you gotta heat it up. Any moisture in the crucible area or whatever they call it, where the reaction's taking place, will cause a steam explosion and send that copper up in your face and all over all the conduits. And very violent. So maybe do let's do a mock fit now while everything's cold, just okay. so you have an idea of what, how much wire you need to heat and clean. So this part's gonna... That just clips right on and then the other wire just drops right in. Yeah. Okay, oh, so even just clamp it? Just clamp it now and the other one just drops right in. Yep. There you go. Now, when the fire happens, it needs to be vertical like that. Yep. And you can see if he's frayed at all, it's not gonna fit in that hole. It's gonna be too tight. And then rubbing on the side and grinding like that is what makes the graphite get damaged. Okay, it might, oh, there it goes. Perfect. There it is, just yep. like that. So now what you can even do is take a Sharpie and mark on your runner a few inches above and a few inches below. Right here? And that's the whole area you need to really focus on drying and we're gonna brush to, to get nice and clean. But we'll dry it first because when you heat it, it kind of does that weird oxide thing where it changes color. So take the mold off. Take the mold off. You can just set the mold on the plywood and then go ahead and heat up the copper. You're going to put your hot gloves on. So then I'd get your tip. If you think that would burn you if you touched it, it's done. Okay. So it's not going to get wet anymore, but don't let it touch anything that has water on it. So now the mold, the way they say to do the mold is to just hit the outside edges of it with the map pack. Yep. Without, you don't want to melt this too. And he's thick and takes a minute to warm up. So you got to just move the heat around, shoot it down in the hole, then you can flip him on his side, move the bottom. You need that whole thing warm. 
happening. There's no moisture at all in any part of it. Okay. Yeah, I agree. So now you need to brush your uh, copper. And you're just getting the oxide off the outside, just like if you were doing copper pipe. Same thing. Yeah, that's the way, back and forth like that. And just on center, because we know you put those marks two inches higher than the mold, so it doesn't even matter up there. So just dead center is the only place you really need to hit, and all four sides, and then you're good. You can load them in your, uh, your rig there, and then we'll look at how we're gonna keep it from falling over while the firing happens. That's, that's, that's good. It. Okay, so we ne now we need to get it to, to balance itself vertically without being held. Should we use this wire? And... What happens if you let go? Which way does it want to fall? This way? That way? Okay. I would maybe bend the bottom wire more. Don't do it in the mold though, because now you're just flexing on the graphite mold. See how the mold's opened oh, okay. up? Okay. That looks good. <clears throat> Rotate them a little bit more. Maybe bring the handle around, like over on that side. Yeah, and see all see all the graphite falling out. So you really got to watch that. Okay, never sorry. never flex on it like that. Okay, so now we got it vertical. We got it in a good position. The tap is all the way down. Just double check that one's pushed all the way in. Yeah. Cool. All right. So now you're ready to connect your charger. Get the map gas away from it. Yeah. And then we'll all stand back. We'll let Lewis push the button. After, after it fires, I like to get in there once it's safe and disconnect the cord so that the cord doesn't melt. Okay. And then I like to flip the lid and open the mold up and set the mold aside. You're gonna be real cautious though of where you put the mold and that nobody else is gonna touch it and then it's not gonna to touch any pipes because that mold is now thousands of degrees after this. So go ahead. Okay. Looks like a failed shot, but let's see. We'll open it up and yeah. see. Come on over and open the lid, take the cable off. Sorry, let's get the mold the open so we can see what's going on in there. All right, yeah, take that lid off. Just be mindful of all these pieces that they don't touch the conduit. So what you can see here is this, this looks like a failure. And you can tell because all this copper poured out the bottom and okay. it probably happened because the wire was bent at the end. Yeah, there, and, it was and that opened the hole up too much. Yeah. So then all the copper went out the bottom. Okay, so now try and just bend them all so that they lay in the way that they're going to in the mold. These two are going to be your runner, and that's going to be your tap. They're on the board. He's not hot yet. These two. Yeah, they're just going to face each other more or less. Just like yeah, something like that. And you can test, you know, make a little progress and then test fit it with the mold and see. Oh, okay, I do need to bend it more. Okay, no, she's ready. That looks great. It would be nice if you rested more. Maybe like that. We'll see. Okay, it, so might, it might stay put. Okay, so test it. Yeah, go ahead and test them out. Okay, yeah. I see. And then it needs to be warmed up too before we fire, but you can test fit now. There you go, like that. Yes, no, no. Make sure they match too. Yeah. I've messed that up before. Why aren't they going in? Okay. Cool. 
feels good, the opening and closing. Yep. Yep, great. Okay, so now go ahead and try and uh, mock them up. It's gonna be the other way. The other way? Yeah, the tap's running that way. Oh, I see, yeah. And then they can't be frayed at all. Like you see that loose wire in there? Uh huh. Yep. I, this whole thing needs I mean, you can even close the thing. Oh, like maybe close it on these two and then shove. Yeah, or close it and shove all three in. You've got marks. Okay, let me try that. Okay, does it go in the hole? Yep, this one does. Perfect, there you go, cool. And you got your, you know he's about a quarter inch from the tape. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta like bring oh. the strands together, okay, see? And then go. as soon as the strands are together, she goes nice. And then put him on the mark. And you're gonna, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna muck, muck the last one in, and then you're gonna warm the mold in place, just like this. Okay. With that wobbling, it should just slide right yep, in. Yeah, right, right, right on yeah, the mark. Every time we grind it out, that makes those holes bigger. <laughs> okay, go ahead and warm up your mold then. And then, yeah, you're ready to fire up the. Get my gloves on. Yep. Done. Done? Yeah. That map gas is hot. Man. And then where are you doing the weld? Because that's right. the only spot you need to heat. Yeah, there's this, there's this really tight spot right here. Perfect. Okay. I can see it. It's and it's not PVC. You can just put that flame right on the con. Right. Yeah. There you go. Done. There you go. Okay. How'd we do? Go ahead and open up the mold. Take it all apart. See, the sooner you get in there while it's hot, the easier it is to get it off of the the wire. If you can get in there right away. Yeah, that's the thing. Maybe I need. Maybe I do need to double up. There you go. Yeah, or just give him. Yeah, as long as he's not near any pipe and there's no other little scrap pieces, just gotta pay attention to all the little breadcrumbs so they don't melt a hole through any of our four inch. Yeah. That's a good looking well. Thank you.